Okay, 3.3 is now instead of drawing perpendicular bisectors, we're going to draw angle bisectors, which is essentially the, the same concept. We're still dealing with a bisector. instead of uh, Now instead of bisecting a line segment, we're going to bisect an angle. That's the only difference. Um, so again, here's the, the description of how to do it. And when you're done bisecting an angle, so for example, this one here, this diagram, the blue, obviously, is the, the actual angle. And the line that cuts this angle right in half is called our angle bisector. Okay, so now, as I said, instead of bisecting uh, a line segment, cutting a line segment, segment in half, now we're bisecting an angle. And that bisector will cut that angle right in half. So that means this new angle right here is exactly the same size as this angle. So instead of measuring the two new sides, we're measuring the two new angles. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at some of these. So here's a we'll start off with a really easy one, uh, 95 sorry 90 degrees. Uh, first we find out what is what is half of 90 because when we we bisect something we're cutting it in half exactly. So half of 90 degrees is what? 45 degrees, drawing this freehand. It's pretty good, hey, with, a, with my mouse pad. Not bad. Okay, 45 degrees. So that's what we need to do, is we need to find 45 degrees. So we bring out our handy-dandy protractor. I got a good one this time. And this portion right here, the crosshair, goes right on the vertex of our angle. So right like that fits in, fits in just like a little puzzle piece. Okay, and then we mark 45 degrees. Now, we have a 45 degrees right here. And we also have a 45 degrees over here. So which one is it, do you think? Which one indicates half of 90? You betcha, it's this side, right? We're going to measure from 0 here. Here's 0 to 90. And half of that is our 45, so it's, it falls right into that spot right there. Okay. Now let's get that. Whoa, whoa, hello. Let's get this out of here. Grab our ruler. And this is always the tricky part, lining this stuff up. <laughs> Ooh -wee. There we go. Okay. And then we slap our bisector down. Right there. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. So once we've got our bisector in there, now we have our two new angles right there and right there. And we indicate, uh, same as we indicate the, the length of our two new line segments with a little notch, with a little line, we do the same here. And that indicates that those are the same same size angles. And you would also write in the size of your new angle, which is 45 degrees. And you are done. All right, let's do, um, I don't know, I don't want to do all these. Uh, eventually, you're going to have to first draw your line and then bisect it. I'm not going to do one of those, though because I've already done those in a different video. Let's look at this one right here, 135. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way here. So we have a <clears throat> uh, an angle that's 135 degrees. So first of all, we do our mental math, and we, we figure out um, half of 135. Well, half of 13 is 6.5, so that's uh, 65. And then half of 5 is 2.5. So our new angle is 67.5 degrees. In case you're having trouble seeing things, this should help. Okay. So once again, we take our protractor and we put our crosshairs right on there. Let's see if I can twist this. How do I do it? Oh, there. That. there we go. And we put that bottom edge of the protractor right on the 
vertex, right? Let's get it. Hello, come on now. Right on the vertex. Right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and now we find 67.5 degrees once again. And again, I'm starting from zero right here. Now starting from zero over here, right? It's not even lined up with the edge of the pro of the uh, angle. So I'm starting at zero here, and I'm going 60, 65, 66, 67.5. So it's right about there. Then we, isn't this easy? It's like the easiest chapter of all time. Okay, and then we uh, make sure things are lining up here. That's pretty close. Zoom. Okay, and now we have two new angles. Let's throw some green in there. So let's see if I can do, oh, I'll use this actually. So this angle right here and this one right here are exactly the same. And they're both, as we mentioned, 67.5 degrees. Whew, I'm pro. That's all there is to it. So that is um, drawing angle bisectors.